Welcome to The Lounge. Here on The Lounge, we'll connect you with opportunities to get involved at UW-Madison. We'll introduce you to people working with students behind the scenes so you can get to know them a little more. And I'm your host, Peyton Wade. On today's episode, in recognition of the upcoming National Coming Out Day on October 11th, let's talk about the wonderful community and resources offered by our Gender and Sexuality Campus Center in Student Affairs. Our guests today are Assistant Dean and Director of the GSCC, Warren Shear, and Alberto Santiago, who is a first year engagement specialist at the center. Thank you both for joining me. I want to welcome all of our viewers back to the lounge as well. But before we get started, I want to first congratulate you all on your new space at the Red Gym. At the pleasure of um, visiting a few weeks ago and it's such a very like calming and chill vibe so i just want to congratulate you two on that space first thank you so much peyton i just appreciate it so let's get right into it um national coming out day is october 11th and warren can you explain what national coming out day is and also explain what the significance is for our students here on campus Sure, I'd be delighted. So uh, National Coming Out Day, um, annual event, as you mentioned, right, um, to celebrate and commemorate the coming out experience or the disclosure experience that lesbian, gay, bisexual, uh, transgender, asexual, LGBTQ plus community members uh, navigate, right, in disclosing one for the first time, uh, they realize um, their uh, attraction or gender identity to themselves, right? And to the folks in their respective communities, whether that's family, friends, school administrators, they um, are connected to. So it recognizes this process that LGBTQ plus people uh, navigate that folks of uh, other identities may not, right? So celebrating that day, right? Um, it's also, I think, particularly for college students, um, celebrating or recognizing the day is com commemorating in some other way, like identity development, right? So like, this is who I am. This is the direction of my attraction. This is how I want to express my gender um, in, in a new way, right? Like in a way that mightn't be or rather isn't readily represented or seen or witnessed um, in pop culture, right? Um, there aren't as many folks who are LGBTQ plus in, in, in media. So a, a route to identify not only themselves, but also bear witness to other folks who have navigated a similar experience. Thank you. Um, and Alberto, so I understand that you are a Posse Scholar. And correct me if I'm wrong, you're going into your second year as an intern at the GSCC? Um, and this is my first year at the, year, uh, year. At the GSCC. I, okay. am second, I am a second year at UW-Madison. Okay, second year student, first year at the GSCC. Can you tell us a little bit about how you found community there? Yeah, um, so last year, as we all know, we were virtual. Um, so there wasn't much um, like going on. There was like still virtual events, but with like Zoom fatigue and stuff, it was kind of hard. Um, so now coming up to this year where we could be in person, all maxed up, um, but at least be in the office. Um, as soon as I saw uh, like an Instagram post that like the GSCC was hiring, um, I knew I wanted to work there because um, like just the space is great and like being able to be here, um, like when I, I don't normally come here to work, like I stay off work hours and I study here because the space is a great study space. Um, so just being able um, to find the space to just work um, for me and or like just come study or hang out or play a quick Uno game, um, it's it's been great. Thank you. So once again, I will shout out the space. As you all heard, it's a great place to go as a student. Um, Warren, so we have the biggest LGBTQ plus conference for college students coming here to Madison, Wisconsin, October 8th through the 10th. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about the conference and why you feel like people should attend or why it's important? Absolutely. So the conference is Mibletech or Mumbletech, depending on how you want to pronounce the acronym, or the Midwest Bisexual, Lesbian, Gay, Transgender, Asexual College Conference. Uh, and this is the third time that Madison has hosted. Um, 
It is the Midwest's largest LGBTQ plus college conference. Uh, and it'll be three days of workshops, keynote speakers, like thought leaders um, and entrepreneurs who are LGBTQ plus uh, and allied um, focus primarily on this year, um, ways to engage in activism and to organize to better your community. Uh, so several things that I would highlight that I think folks would be particularly interested in why they should join us at the conference are that we have heavily featured uh, local uh, educators, thought leaders, organizers, right? Um, so the keynote speakers are all from the Midwest and we're thrilled about that. We have a specialty track this year called the Skillshare. So uh, an entire track on Saturday where every single session in that track will be dedicated to learning a skill, right? So you will leave each of those sessions having acquired a new skill, some new insight and capacity to do something. Uh, and then I think the other piece, and it's particularly important after the, the last year and three quarters that we've had, an opportunity to be in community, right? So the Midwest is a pretty large geographical area. Uh, it's an opportunity to be in space, in community, and celebrate with folks who identify similarly along the uh, LGBTQ plus spectra, right? Uh, so an opportunity to connect and then recognize in very meaningful um, and impactful ways that folks are not alone, right? They might be the only asexual identified person on their small liberal arts campus, but at this conference, they will not be alone. They will find other folks who identify similarly. And there's something incredibly empowering, right? Uh, about that, that invites folks to shift from a space of surviving to a space of thriving, right? Um, and launch folks into being um, organizers and leaders on their respective campuses and in their respective communities. Thank you. So that conference is taking place again, October 8th through the 10th. Um, you all can still register, so be sure to check it out. And before I let you two leave, I just wanna know what is one thing that makes the GSCC special to you? Um, Alberto, if you wanna start. Yeah, um, ooh, so many things. Um, I feel like just the general, um, the general vibe of the CC. Um, if any of you visit our office, you know we have a high table. Um, just being able to sit around that high table with other people and like just being community, um, which is something we haven't had in a long time, especially with COVID. Um, just being able to sit around and be in community and have that safe space is what makes the GSCC so special. And Warren? Oh my goodness. So um, I'm perhaps struggling a little bit. Um, so I know you asked for one thing, but I'm probably gonna say two because um, it's ever and always a yes and for me um, that there is so much laughter in the space right? There's an opportunity to connect in many ways, right? Like in one of those vehicles is laughter. But um, whether it's uh, watching a show together, playing a game, or just having a conversation, right? There's an opportunity to connect to, with a variety of people. Uh, and the other piece is that every single day someone walks in, they will be welcomed and they will find support and affirmation at the Campus Center. And that means the world to me. That's great. So if you all are looking for a place to laugh, find support, good vibes, make sure you all check out the GSCC. I want to thank you both for joining me today. I'm Peyton and it's time to close the lounge.